The Minute with your indefatigable host, John Wilcock. Well, anybody who watches this show on anything like a regular basis knows that I go away a lot. And what I do is I take cruises every now and then because they're very luxurious. You eat far too much, but it's great food. And uh, you can relax and catch up on your reading. And it's really, it's really a, a, a treat to go on a cruise. However, what I've never talked about is the problem you have getting on a cruise. Right at the beginning, I mean, talk about Holman security. It's ten times as long, even though it's not quite as tedious as going through an airport to security. But all the waits, because there are 3,000 people. 3,000 people getting on a boat, you know, and uh, it does take time. There are endless lines before you can get aboard, one after another. After a long rest, we're off again. We're on a cruise. We left San Diego and we're heading down the west coast of South America. The first stop will be um, in Baja, the tip of Baja, which is actually one of the Cabos, Cabo San Lucas. One for you right there. Big smile. Everybody comes ashore by tender, which run pretty often. And the uh, line towards town is uh, the road towards town is lined with people offering tours and just about everything else. We can pose with a little tiger. People meticulously cutting the grass with shears. Is a um, very small place. Like most of the places in Mexico anybody visits, it was once a tiny village. It's a major sea-going place now. The harbor is so stacked with boats, you can hardly see the water. Work is for people who don't know how to fish. Prices are quite cheap still. 9.99 for five beers and chips. Captain Tonis, you hook it, we fish, we cook it. Plaza de Mariachis, non-playing at the moment. Oh, I remember this place from long ago. The giggling Merlin, Marlin rather. They have Senor Frog, which is very famous. It's all over Mexico, but Baja kind of specializes in funny name American type places. The array of stalls all serving the kind of souvenir tat you would expect runs all the way around the harbor and it's quite a long a long walk around the harbor maybe this is the site that they uh, tourists come to see in Cabo I will not take the tour and this is what's been going up all around this once tiny fishing village understandably southern Baja, Baja has become a Baja Sur, has become a popular place for not terribly wealthy Americans to retire. Sold with this kind of a come on. Well, I took a long walk around Cabo. In fact, I went to the office of this paper the Gringo Gazette, figuring that it uh, would be interesting to meet them, but the editor was not present. Now I'm sitting having a beer before uh, taking the tender back to the, to the boat. This was the first stop on our 15-day cruise. And um, tomorrow we go to Puerto Vallarta. I'm reading this real estate magazine, which um, uh, indicates how many 
enormous numbers of Americans now buy property here in Cabo and a lot of the time rent it out until they're ready to sell it because like everywhere else the real estate market has dropped like crazy so a lot of people are just uh, trying to get by renting the place until such time as the market gets better. I was very tired and wanted to have a beer when I got to back to the tender dock. The Corona was the cheapest at two dollars but for three dollars you could get two so that's what I did. <laughs> From? From Missouri. California? No, Missouri. Oh, Missouri. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. I'm a Californian. And your name? North. Okay, great. Thank you, sir. In Mexico. We're actually a little bit outside because we've gone on a tour of the surrounding countryside. Forget what they call this little town, Pitillo or something like that. Because that's the main reason that the reason today was not the only local side, I guess. Commercial. Eh? Brief stop at a tequila place. So I will be giving you the put in the hands. And I just see over there. But nowadays we use a oven. We put Everybody helps themselves. Thimble full. And then hopefully buy the bottle. Look to the lab. We can have middle class. No poor chest. Poor lady, but uh, yeah, look at that one. And it went million <laughs> dollars in apartment people. There you go. Well, this is where we have the uh, entrance through the city. The guy said he didn't know where the money was coming from, but those high-rise apartments, people were paying a million dollars US for each apartment. There were the mandatory tourist stops in a shopping area where people can buy jewelry and other junk. Why, it's nearly Halloween at Gold's Gym. Angel areas of town. So famous, they just look in little houses of more. And keep it, keep it wet, keep it wet. And unfortunately, sometimes they fall down. Those are made by copper, bronze, and the right side, look, that's what I'm talking about. Can you see the seahorse? It's very little. You just see a way through your lap. Where? Look at it. This is kind of nice. It's a tile place. We just went to see the upper reaches in the hillside, the expensive homes up there, but we didn't get out of the bus, so we couldn't actually see it very well. But. It's, uh, it's, it's very hilly, very steep. I was amazed the bus could even do it. And now this is the last stop before we go back. And uh, not only are the tiles, but cups and saucers and stuff. Yeah, nice. Huge place. With so much ceramic like stuff all over. All the others. World of Tiles, in fact, it calls itself. Even the stairs are tiled all the way up. <laughs> Not to mention all the walls. You could have your bathroom sink organized. Take a while to make that though. Kind of expensive to ship back. 
ceramic giraffe. The entrance to the men's room, <laughs> Marilyn Monroe. Next door, the entrance to the women's room, James Bond. Some visual advice in the bathroom. That's right, pose for your moment. Thomas! At the end of the tour, which of course you wouldn't expect to be very exciting, it's only a tour of the suburbs of Port of Wayana. But there was kind of an impromptu bar just outside where you board the boat again, so. Um, I stopped to spend some surplus peso, pesos I had. God knows when I got them. I haven't been in Mexico for years. I had saved like, a, you know, 50, 60, 70 pesos or something. So I stopped here by this little wayside bar about 100 yards from the boat. 